What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. I thought we would take a look at something interesting that I found while surfing Amazon.com. This is an alien wolf, unisex, antique case, vintage brass rib, chain quartz, pocket watch, train. And it just looks interesting. So uh, this is a true unboxing. It comes just like this. And there it is, a little foam package. And it kind of looks like a vintage pocket watch, you know? It's like a cast metal, you can see a I think, oh, maybe that's not uh, a molding mark there, but hmm? I <laughs> think it's all cast. Nothing's etched, you know. There's no real old school craftsmanship. And for seven bucks, I mean, it's kind of what you would think. How do I open it? There we go. Okay, so you press down on the top here. That releases that little latch. And let's see if the pocket watch flies open. Pretty good. Let's be a little spring loaded. It only opens up to 90 degrees like this, so that's as far as you can get it. But it will open up if you're holding the chain uh, in your pocket. Looks like this end is a little, uh, little confused, but uh, pretty nice long chain. Expect it to be a little longer. It's also kind of got this antique, -y, antique -y look to it. Uh, but here is the watch itself, Boshia. It says. And it's quartz. This is the only thing it comes with. There's lots of pocket watches on Amazon, and a lot of them kind of try to do this vintage look. You can see kind of some perla inside cover here. The chain is 30 inches long. It runs on a battery, obviously, as, as it's quartz. It's one and a three quarters inches in diameter, and in total thickness, uh, seven sixteen. So it's not it's not super big. I mean. You know, if you really did want to carry a pocket watch, this isn't that big. It's not super heavy. You've got a cool little mural of a train there. Really uh, Art Deco type of design on the, the loop itself. And then obviously I showed you the back, which is some flowers. So, you know, if this is your thing, it's not my thing. But I just wanted to check it out. You can see here the glass is raised a little bit. Looks like there's a plastic cover on there. I'm not gonna bother taking that off because it's actually nicely applied and you don't, it's not causing any issues. Um, even the dial itself kind of emulates like an old porcelain dial. You know, the imperfections on the way it's printed or the ink on it is kind of make, gives it a little more vintagey look. Um, I like the hands here with the, with the open circles. Also a little vintagey. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you maintain it. I, it looks like maybe this back just pries up and then you could uh, replace the battery if you so needed. But you want to put this on your waist or in your pocket or something like that for you hipsters. I think it'd be kind of cool. You could even wear it around your neck, kind of like a necklace watch. Because it's a little bit of a little bit small for kind of a traditional pocket watch, but I dig it. Um, like I said, you can get this on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link to it. It's by Yes Surprise, and uh, feel free to pick one up. They are dirt cheap, and it came very quickly because it came Amazon Prime. I am gonna give this one away though, so that one of you can uh, tie this to your vest with your handlebar mustache and go out and impress all your friends with your uh, retro style. So all you have to do is like this video and subscribe to my channel because I've got more stuff coming up. And then comment below. I'm going to pick one random commenter. You can comment anything you want. Uh, flame this video if you hate it and me, which you probably do. Uh, but just put the country that you live in in the comment because I'm going to limit this to the U.S. and Canada because that's... Uh, where I can afford to ship it to and then I will pick one random commenter next Saturday, which will be uh, October 29th and reach out to them and, and get this shipped out to you. So um, Someone out there in Panda Nation is gonna own a pocket watch Peter Brown Panda out